Okay, we're shooting a little video here of the moon, about a day past full. Looking at it through an astrophysics 155mm f7 telescope with a uh, flattener optic on the back end of it, and the camera is a Sony a7S. Camera settings are 1 1,000th one of a second shutter, and ISO is 100. Wow, man, that is one bright honking target. Um, no filters here, maybe I need one. Um, but this is real-time video, magnification. That's going to be fun. 1185 divided by 50. Let's see, 100 is 220, 22 times 1.5 would be about 33, 34 power. Too bad I didn't have this set up for the eclipse early this morning, but I didn't because it was too early. But you can certainly see the mare of the seas. I'm going to move it around just a little bit. And the brighter portions are the highlands, mountains, craters that have blasted through the lava-like seas. Nice shot of the moon for 33-ish power. Camera is set to APS-C crop mode. It gives an extra 1.5x boost. Uh, we've got this tracked with an Astrophysics Mach 1 go-to mount. Slow-mo controls. And a pretty nice-looking moon. Um, see, I'm on customized white balance. Color temperature of 4,800 degrees Ooh, Kelvin, I think. Which gives it just about the right color. And uh, very little wavering from atmospheric uh, effects because this is fairly low power. Moon's probably a couple hours away from the meridian. And it's otherwise pretty high in the sky. Not sure what constellation it's in, but it, uh, it's a hell of a lot brighter than it was during the total lunar eclipse earlier this morning. Um, I didn't know where his shadow on it. But anyway, there you have the moon. This is essentially what they call what prime focus on the telescope, because the camera's more or less connected directly to the scope. And there's just this flattener optic in between. And uh, hey, man, that's one day past full. The moon with an astrophysics 155 refractor and a Sony refractor, excuse me, and a Sony A7S camera, full frame camera running an APS-C crop. Okay, that's gonna be it. Looks like a still but it's not.